welcome back i'm back today to plan with you guys and i have this cute kit from samantha rose and i am going to be planning from monday the 31st through sunday the 6th february guys the month is gone just like that with a blink of an eye the month is gone i have this other uh sheet right here and the full box is over here and i have the washi the thin washi and the additional um ones included right here because i do like to use them and i really have uh, been enjoying her kits she has really cute kits i did purchase these last year so i'm not sure if they're available anymore but definitely check her out she is on etsy so go ahead and check her out super cute kits definitely love how cute she does her kids and of course i have my little stickers and the scripts right there i have my tweezers let me and i did take out my pages already just so it was easier look at this and that's so cute i love it so let me get started with this and I figured today would be, I really enjoyed my last plan with me where I would talk to you guys about a certain topic. So I figured I would talk to you guys about, as you guys have seen in the title, things that I plan not to buy or try not to buy this year. I've never done something like that. I mean, like an actual like list of stuff that I don't want to buy. But I think that would be definitely something interesting to do and the first thing that i want to let's say not buy is cleaning supplies i don't know about you guys but cleaning supplies are kind of pricey i don't know if you guys know or not and the reason why i don't want to be purchasing them is because i want to be making my own i have recently started doing my own cleaning solutions and it's relatively easy and it's super super easy with stuff that you probably already have at home and i really do um enjoy doing it like it's kind of like super easy mixing the stuff so that's one of the reasons why i want to do that so then i also want to do it because it's kind of less chemicals. I don't know if you guys know, but bleach and all that stuff is very harsh. And if it's very harsh when you smell it, it goes into your system and all of that. And that's definitely something I don't want to be messing with. So definitely going to use some more natural and different alternatives because it's better for the environment as well. And... Obviously, I'm going to be saving money because I'm not going to be, you know, purchasing $5, 5 or 5 or $4 uh, cleaners and stuff like that at the store because, like I mentioned, those are very expensive sometimes. And it's just less waste. If I'm reusing a bottle, you know, it's not going to the landfill, the plastic and all of that. I know it's, it's very, very toxic and all of that. So that's one of the things that i want to do this year then i also second thing i don't want to be purchasing this year is clothing um we have a bunch of clothes like we literally do not need any more clothes so that's another thing that we want to um stop buying i mean if you really need it yes but not just, oh, I really like it, it's cute, I want to get it, you know? Because nowadays, you can go to any store, pretty much, and they're, like, having a sale, and and it's just, you get drawn in, you know? And sometimes you don't even need the thing. You're like, oh, but it's on sale, and it's so cute, and, you know, that thing. And then that's just something that I want to um, really focus on and also i'm working on becoming more minimal decluttering so not having so much stuff also you know just because it's so much more to manage 
And the more stuff you have, the more time it takes away from you. Everything you have in your house is inventory. So everything that you have, even to the last pencil or marker, you know, like us, uh, planner people, is inventory that we have to manage. And sometimes that inventory takes a lot of time and a lot of space in our houses. And sometimes we don't even have time and space. So definitely that is another one of the reasons. I want to be more minimal, declutter more, you know, have less, less stuff that I need to take care of. And the number three thing that I don't want to be purchasing is house decorations. My house is pretty decorated already, so I don't need to be getting anything else. I I have a lot. I mean... I'm sure that that's one of the reasons what got me into credit card debt. Oh, I need to buy this for my house. Oh, make this prettier. Oh, I need this, you know, and swipe the card, swipe the card. And definitely something that I want to not do this year because my house is already pretty enough. I don't need to be purchasing the latest throw pillow, for, you know, to make my living room look a certain way. And it's going to help me save money. I don't have the space and I want to be more minimal. So definitely something that I will be doing. Number four is limiting my stationery. I can't say I'm not going to buy it because come on, I'm a planner. I love beautiful stuff. I just can't say I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to limit it. And you know, the weird thing is that now that I have an allowance, I don't want to waste my allowance. Like, oh, I want to save it. But then I'm like... I want to save my allowance. I don't want to spend it. But I really want to um, be more conscious of what I purchase and make sure that everything that I buy, I'm going to use. Because sometimes I notice that I, I buy things and I'm not going to use it. And it's just a waste. If I'm not going to use it, why get it, you know? Why do I need to buy 20 million pens if I'm not if I'm gonna use the same black one all the time so definitely limiting that just to really get things that I am gonna use and that I will not just have collecting dust in my closets or in my house you know definitely going to be doing that and number five although it is not something that I'm not going to buy is something that I want to limit. I don't know about you guys. Have you been to Target or not? I'm sure everybody's been to Target, but Target gets you. I mean, you walk into the store right away. You're at the dollar spot. Fill up your cart at even 10 feet away from the door. Your cart is full, right? And you're like literally 10 feet away from the door. And you have all this stuff. Oh, it's $3. Oh, it's $5. Oh, it's a dollar. And then your cart is full even before you start shopping. Definitely, I want to limit the amount of time or times that I go to Target. So I am limiting myself to once a month. I'm going to go to Target <laughs> once a month. So wish me luck. I love Target. Definitely. But I don't want to have way too much unnecessary stuff. And I don't need to be having to control all my inventory and, um, you know, save my money. Stop wasting time. Save my money. Another going along with the same thing. Um, limit the amount of times I go to Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. <laughs> they always get you with like the cute little things that are never going to last more than a day or two. And you're never going to use it. And I'm like, nope, I need to stop. I need to stop going to, to Dollar Tree and spending like $30 on stuff that I'm not going to use. Just because, oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. But it's not quality it's not something that i'm gonna use so definitely i am going to limit the time i go to one time per month and also that's gonna help me 
um, you know, save my money, not be overspending, not have too much stuff that I need to clean up or take care of. So that is what I want to do. And this year I want to really focus on using up what I have already. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of stuff already, like a lot. And my house is not that big. Like I really have limited space and I have decluttered for a year already and I still have way too much stuff. So I want to be able to, you know, clean up my house faster. Do things like have more time to be doing other things. Not just be a slave to my things in my house and not be able to enjoy it because really then what's the point you know of having all that stuff if you're not going to enjoy it and that's really what i want to focus on this year making sure that i use up everything that i have everything that i get make sure i use it if i don't you know try to sell it um try to see what if i can give it to somebody if they can use it just but not make any more <laughs> more um more junk for the landfill you know that's a little bit what i want to work on this year um and i think that's definitely going to help me with saving money and everything that i want to accomplish this year with my savings those are going to be my goals so far for kind of like my house you know my budget and all of that and i am really going to really going to try to stick to it because I really want to do it so let me show you what I got so far um actually let me do Monday I don't want this video to be super long so I'm just gonna do like the basics and my husband has an appointment here um, let me use this one. He has an appointment at 10 o'clock. And so this day we're not going to homeschool because we are going to go with him. Um, he has a doctor's appointment. And then I'll put this one right here. So cute. Um, let me see. So we're not going to homeschool this day. And I think that's the only one I'm going to put for that day. And then I have, um, for Friday, I'm going to go to the zoo with my kid. And that's going to be kind of like the whole day, maybe. I don't know. Let me see. No, I'm going to use a smaller one. And then I'll use the strip. So I will try to be there around 10 o'clock, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Um, let me put this cute one because we are going to, we're going to pack a picnic. He loves when we have picnics. So I'm going to do that one there. So let me just show you a quick flip through of what I have. So that's going to be Monday. And then I have Tuesday. Then I have Wednesday with this cute one. And then in the back, I have Thursday. Then I have friday and then and then i have saturday in the back which i just forgot to put movie night and i'll do that and then i have sunday so that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you guys have been enjoying my videos if you have please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.